Kristen Cross. I'm the librarian at Crestview Elementary. I have Mr. Moore and Ms. Hawthorne's class with us today, and we're going to be learning about bats. All right. When bats are not hunting for food, they're usually hiding in roosts. Roosts can be caves, treetops, or attics. Bats pick places that are well hidden and protect from bad weather. When most bats rest in their roosts, they hang upside down. This guy actually doesn't hang upside down. He is a type of bat that will just stick to the side of a tree. Sometimes he'll stick just like this, but then sometimes he will stick upside down. But he's lucky, he just sticks right to the side. If he ever falls to the ground though, he can't jump up like a bird and fly. He has to climb up the tree using his, his thumbs and his feet, and then he has to fall back into flight. Have you ever hung upside down on a jungle gym? You might start to feel dizzy. Bats have special veins to keep their blood flowing properly so they never feel dizzy. Bats can't take off from the ground, like we just said, like birds, so they have to fall into flight. Hanging upside down is the best way to make a quick getaway. Baby bats, called pups, completely depend on their mother after they're born. They're blind, hairless, and they can't fly. They cling to their mother's fur. The pups nurse their mother's milk until their wings are strong enough to fly. Look at those baby bats. Aren't they so cute? Look at your thumb. They are about the size of your, that's not your thumb. Show me your thumb. Yeah, these baby bats are about the size of your thumb. During storms in Australia rainforest, wind can knock baby bats to the forest floor. The babies usually don't survive unless wildlife workers come to the rescue. The lucky bats are taken to the bat hospital. The babies are bundled in blankets and fed milk from a bottle. After a few months, they are strong enough to return to the wild. A world without bats wouldn't be very nice. Bats are an important part of the ecosystem. Insect-eating bats gobble up millions of bugs. Many of these insects are pests that could harm humans and destroy crops. Bats keep their numbers under control. Other bats keep forests healthy by spreading seeds and pollen. This allows trees and flowers to multiply. All right. Let's go back to your near pun. All right, we're gonna play a game. Okay, look at your iPad. We're gonna play a game. And I'm gonna ask you some questions about bats. Uh-oh. I think he pressed a button, that's okay. I have an extra one. All right, you're going to choose a face. Choose a face and then press the blue button at the bottom. Preston, can you choose a face? Pick one of these and then press the blue button. Did you pick one? Did you press the blue button? There you go. All right, Ashley, pick one and then press the blue button. All right, press the button. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, bats, bats are nocturnal. That means they sleep at night. Is that yes or no? When do bats sleep? Do they sleep during the daytime or at nighttime? Nighttime. Nighttime, good. So you're going to press yes. Oh, we're waiting on one more. Did you press yes? Did you press yes? Can you press yes? Ready? All bats drink blood. Does this bat drink blood? No. Go ahead and click no. Remember, there are only three kinds of bats that do that. Preston, can you click no? Look right here. Can you click no? Right there. Good job. Right, ready? Ready. Bats are mammals. Do they have fur? Yes. Do they have warm blood like us? Yes. Well, they have hair or fur. And do they drink milk? Yes. So they are mammals. Can you press yes? Can you press yes? <laughs> Good job. Yeah. We're going to do two more. All right. Whoops. We're going to actually skip this. I wonder if I can skip it now. All right. Bats are cute. Are they cute? Yes. 
Now, this is tricky. They want to know if it's a fact or an opinion. A fact means, yes, it is true. An opinion means, I think so, maybe some other people do. Can, now, do you think bats are cute? Do you think bat, no? So this is an opinion. Can you click the O, o, o button for opinion? Do you see opinion O? Oh, that's right. All right, we'll do one more. All right, bats eat mosquitoes. Do bats eat mosquitoes? They sure do. I have a bat box in my yard just to get rid of all the mosquitoes. Can you click yes? <laughs> right here, yes. Good job. All right, good job. All right, the last thing we're going to do on our iPads today is memory. You're going to click two pictures and try to make a bat match. Okay? Preston, can you, can you click two pictures? Look. One, two. Uh oh. One, two. Nope. <gasps> Your turn. Can you touch it? Can you pick two? Did you get it? Let's see if they match them. Try another one. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got so match, but you, you got know. it. Okay, <laughs> oh. Jesus, get them all. Good job, oh, Jesus. Job, Jesus. <gasps> you too. Yeah. You have to remember what you click. So uh, see one of them. All right, friends, I'm going to give you one more minute. Come here. Bring me your iPad. Come here, Preston. Come sit down. Amari, come sit down. Hey, Seuss T, come here. Ashley, come here. We're going to make some flying bats. Do you see my little bat friend? We're going to make him fly. Do you see how he has this little tube on his back? I'll take these. Thank you. That's okay. You could try again later. Do you see how he has this little tube on his back? We're going to make him fly. Watch what I do. I'm going to stick the straw in the tube. And then watch this. Oh. All right. We're going to make. Okay. Well, you can't use this one because I put my mouth on it. All right, so you're going to make your own flying bat. All right, so go ahead and choose one bat. Pick one bat. Can you pass one bat? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, we're going to use this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this on the back. Good. All right, Preston, are you ready? There's your bat. Can you try it? You got a straw? All right. Amari, can I see your bat? We're going to do it on this side. All right, Amari. You ready? Can, look, you're going to put the straw right in there, and then you're going to blow into it. Can you make your bat fly? Ready? I'm just like this. That's okay. Well, pick up your bat. Try it again. All right, go ahead. Make your bat fly. T, do you have a straw? Yes. Yeah. Here you go. Can you put the straw in the back and then see if your bat can fly? Hey, Zeus, can I have your bat? Thank you. Put, put the straw in the back of your bat. Ready? Put it back here. Put it inside, and then you gotta blow. Yep, you gotta blow. All right, Jesus, can you make your bat fly? Let's see. All right, everybody got your bats? Yeah. Ready? Let's see. Let's see whose bat can go the highest. Are you ready? Ready? Oh, oh you took your straw thing. Is this your bat? This is your bat. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Ready. One, two, 
Three. <gasps> Ready, blow. I take you to the Oh! Here you go. You don't want to blow? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Try again. Can you put it on yourself? Can you put I your straw in there? It. You blow it? No. Show me, Amari. Ready? One. Amari, show me. Two. Three. <gasps> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's look at the bat one more time. What part of the bat is this? What is this? T, what's this part of the bat? The wings. The wings. Good. Oh, so and how many fingers does he have? Well, he does have ten because just like us. Does he have thumbs? Yeah. Yes. Do bats sleep like this or do they sleep upside down? Upside down. Upside down. Good. Um, if a bat is on the ground, can he jump up and fly? No. no. Remember, he has to be on the tree and then fall down into flight. Good job. Thank you for joining us. I hope you learned something about bats today. Can you guys say bye? Bye. 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 Can you make your bat fly? Make him fly.